Jennifer Pearson. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for waiting. We're going just in room seven, just there. All right, so my name's Dr. Cotton again. I think I'm down as your named GP. OK, and you've come to discuss your medication today, is that right? Yeah, and to get some tomazepam. OK. I've had no sleep since Wednesday. Right, OK. My husband and I split up in December. Oh, dear, I'm sorry to hear that. He's gone to stay with friends and sold the house. If it wasn't for my friend and my son, I'd be homeless. Oh, gosh. It's a real difficult time at the moment. And the tomazepam was helping you to sleep? Was yeah, it? Been yeah, it's a long time. Long time, OK. But they couldn't prescribe it until they'd re reviewed my right. medication. Uh, OK, I think, yeah, because it's an addictive I know um, that. medication. So but we have without to it, I don't yeah. sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We only tend to prescribe tomazepam and sleeping tablets for extreme cases because they can be highly addictive and there is an underlying reason for patients' insomnia. The patients will end up getting hooked on the tomazepam but still have their underlying problem. I last had it on the 27th of June mm -hmm. and he only gave me 14 tablets. Right. And are you taking it every night at the moment? Yeah, I have to. Yeah. OK. You don't sleep at all without it? No. No. I just don't know what to do. Yeah. With all this, these things with the uh, split up with your husband, is, have you got things still ongoing? He hasn't asked me for a divorce. Right. He knows I won't give him one. Right. She's a Catholic, so. Right, okay. She doesn't believe in divorce. Right. So I just do. don't know what's going on. What to do, yeah. Oh, it sounds awful at the moment. She did have a history of self harm mm -hmm. and suicide. Right. She has tried. A long time ago. A long time ago, and yeah. she promised me she wouldn't ever do it okay. again. And I haven't. So she hasn't. Mm. Has any thoughts like that crossed your mind at the moment? Mm -hmm. I looked at my tablets the other week, mm -hmm. and I was going to take them all. Right. But then I remembered my promise to my friend. Good. Okay. And I didn't. Good. So that's a really firm, protective thing in your in your mind then. Insomnia and mental health problems often come hand in hand. If people haven't slept for a few days, it can make their state of mind worse. So they are very much interlinked. Obviously, at the moment, the lack of sleep is going to be making everything seem, seem a lot worse. worse. Yeah. So what I would suggest, we can give you a few of the tomazepam to kind of keep you, keep you going. Because there's a lot of things on here that we need to go through in terms of your, your health. But I think today... Am I antidepressants? Yeah. But they're not helping. And they're not helping. They're clear, yeah, they're clearly not. Were they working at any time? No. Not really. No. So I wonder if we'll, we'll be stick it out. get you a little bit of sleep for a week or so and then when you come back and see me then we can have a chat about swapping them over to something that will hopefully help a bit better. Yeah. And you're staying with people all the time, you're not going to be no, on your own. No. Yeah. OK, that's fine. There's enough here to see yeah. you through for two weeks. We can book you two weeks today. I could do 20 past 11. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. So what we'll do, we'll get things on track. Obviously, I'm actually not going to be here after the next month for a little while because I'm going to have a baby. Um, but we'll get things on track so that then whoever we hand it over to, they'll know what's what's going it's on as well. On. Yeah. And we'll right. see you in a couple of weeks. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I've got to take that to the pharmacy now, haven't I? Just over the road. OK. Everywhere I go, you've all got bumps. What's that? What's that? Hey, we got a smile. You have got eyelashes to die for, mister. <laughs> My little smile. Oh, bless you. That's pretty straightforward. You're in good hands. Hello. Hello.
come through. Take a seat, 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 my lovely. You can put your feet My legs are shaking now. <clears throat> oh, are you OK? I Just literally bought, like, a little red nose to squish because oh. my brother couldn't find his squishy. So. Oh, you've got a little stress ball there. <laughs> my name's Claire. Nice to see you. All right. Yes. How can I help you today? Oh, I need to get my implant removed for my... OK, fine. So why do you want it removing? I'm just way too moody with it in. OK. It's, like, everything's changed. Okay. Irregular periods is the worst thing ever. Right, OK. And when were you last sexually active? Um, yesterday. That's fine. It's not a problem. We can take out the implant because it's still within date. And the moods have just been awful, have they? Since? Yeah. Oh. My boyfriend's not very happy. Oh. Right, then, let's get it out for you then, shall we? Lie down for me, my lovely, and then I don't want it. <laughs> pop your arm up, OK? I don't know if I can do it. I remember the last time, and yeah. um, I had to have two nurses try to hold my arm down because I wouldn't put it up. Oh! <laughs> you all right? I'm nervous. I don't do well with pain at all. It's OK, it's OK. So keep your arm like that for me for a minute, OK? You yeah. just relax, darling. Once she's put the needle and got everything sorted out, okay. you can hold my hands, OK, darling? <laughs> Am I allowed to hold you how much she's putting the needle of in? Of course you are. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to be fine. I don't want to put my arm up. OK. Let's try, let's try. Yeah? You're doing really well. No, it's, a... it's all right. It's all right. It's all, it's all right. right, darling. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> I just saw you move your arm with the needle. No, don't worry, don't worry. Why don't you grab this stress ball? My little red nose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How long have you been with your partner? You can squeeze me as um, much as you like, darling. Four years in the Oh, November. wow, OK. Don't look at me. <laughs> I feel like if I look, look away... Look at I'm me! Be... <laughs> it's just the needle that's doing it for yeah. me. I don't care about the little scalpel thing at the moment. No, that's fine. OK. Can we just wait a sec? Sorry, I'm really, really nervous. If anything, look in Claire's face. See the kindness in the face. There we go. Not going to do anything nasty It's not going to be one of those faces like, like yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Excited to reject no. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's very gentle. <laughs> Let's have oh, a that hurt, actually. It's only because we're pushing it to the surface a little. Right, don't look at the needle. You're going to be fine, seriously. You squeeze my hand. That's it. Squeeze it. No, that's fine. You squeeze, squeeze. That's it. That's it. Keep squeezing. Well done. That's really good. You're so good. Is it not? Oh, yeah. We need to make sure that you're getting enough of the anaesthetic, don't That's we? That's it. You just keep squeezing, darling. Just keep squeezing. Done. Oh, it's stupid. No. Is it's it blood fine. or is it? I think I probably would have preferred the blood. The blood will come later. <laughs> <laughs> now, you will probably feel a sensation on the skin, but you yeah. shouldn't feel pain. Yeah? Right, my lovely. I'm really sweaty. That's oh, all right. Don't worry. <laughs> it looks a lot bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be another really tiny ones. It's. It. We're going to make a tiny incision, not big. It might just pop, it? Up, might pop out straight away. Okay, don't Hopefully look when it we're will. doing this. That's okay. Right. You can squeeze me as much as you want, darling. I don't mind. Did you hear the story about the girl? She was in a coma. She only spoke her own language, and when she woke up, she could speak thirty-six different languages, I think, or more. I don't get it. I don't get the brain. Most of the time, I just... Ooh, ew. It's out! Yeah, I felt it. It was weird. You did really well. Lift your arm up, my lovely. We'll just do the spooch. Feel OK? Yeah. Maybe sit on the end of the bed first and make sure that you feel all right before you get up, OK? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I can't That's even right. get up. Okay. OK. So your periods should go back to some sort of normal cycle. You need to be using, obviously, protection. Yeah. To make sure you're covered, OK? <laughs> right, my lovely, take care. Bye. Bye, darling. Bye-bye. See Thank you later. Bye. Oh, bless her.